Hi, this is Chris at Wannabe Honey Farms. Uh, today I'm going to try to render some wax. Uh, this is going to be my first attempt at this ever. And I got an old, uh, let me see if I can show it to you real quick. I got an old turkey uh, fryer that I'm going to use. I'm doing this outside so that I don't burn the entire house down. Um, I've got another YouTube channel. It's called CD Wani, where I put up adventure and humorous things. It's where everyday things just go horribly wrong and there's a funny ending to it. This video may very well end up over there when this is all done and said. Um, I'm just hoping that uh, things go smoothly. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've got my wax. Uh, I'm going to cut away from me. I got my bucket and I got my wax. And I'm going to take my wax. This is one year's accumulation just from scrapings um, from honey harvest and just upkeep of my frames when I'm in there. Um, I've run this through water and a sieve quite a few times, so I've cleaned it off as much as I can hope possibly clean it. But uh, now, I put it in there. Okay, so I've got it in my pot. Now, I'm going to add water. And I'm going to bring it right up to the top of the wax. Um, I could not even begin to tell you guys how many videos that I've watched to try to learn how to do this. But I'm bringing the water up pretty much right up around the top of the wax and then probably about another half of what was in there. So as far as water goes, it's like one and a half times the amount of wax that I have. Hey, I've got an old stick I'm going to use to stir it. It still feels, yeah, no, I, I take that back. By my guesstimation, which I have no experience doing, that feels okay. So with that being said, I'm going to crank her up. Light my stove. And I'm going to set this to boil. And that's just going to sit there and boil now until it's all melted down and it's going to be just a nasty, gunky mess. So with that, I'll get back to you uh, once this is melting and we'll see how it goes. Okay, we got everything up to a roiling boil and it looks pretty nasty right now. But this is going to render out to some pretty sweet wax. We're going to have to do this filtration uh, probably a couple times. So this is the first filtration I'm going to do, so I'm going to cut the heat off. And now here's where things go horribly wrong. I locked the dogs up inside so that uh, no one gets burned. But I'm going to try to pour this.
We're going down the side. Okay, we're going to take some of our particulates, pour them off, and that's going to work for us later because when that dries out, it's going to be a fire starter. Wax uh, is extremely flammable. That went right up to the top. Woo! <laughs> Come close. All right, now what we're going to do is pretty much uh, not a whole lot. Um, but now, okay, the way this plan is supposed to work is the wax is mixed in with the water. We drained off a lot of the particulates, uh, just garbage, bee parts, uh, anyway, stuff that isn't wax. Um, that is going to dry out and it's going to be a fantastic fire starter. Um, we'll call that plan A. This is going to sit for quite a few hours and the water is going to separate from the wax and when all is done and said we should have a cake of wax across the top layer. Um, I hadn't really thought of a plan where I'm going to set this to dry yet. Um, I guess I'll just set it up on the table over here. But uh, bees will be attracted to it, so we may get some more bee parts in there, but it's going to have to go through, at minimum, one more uh, purification process. And uh, we're just going to let that sit now. We'll see what happens next. I'm kind of curious myself. <laughs> All right, bye. Okay, it's been sitting outside cooling, um, and we're going to see what we got. All said and done, that's our wax. All set, it's got uh, some, some browning on top, and the bottom is filthy, but we're going to scrape off the bottom, maybe a little off the top, and we're going to melt it one more time, and we're going to... Uh, filter it one more time so for all that pile of crap that I had that's what uh, we actually came out with and so we'll continue this tomorrow surely had to get a picture of the soup <laughs> pretty disgusting but actually I'm pretty happy with this cake um, that's a really really decent looking cake of wax once we scrape it and filter it one more time uh, that's going to come out to be a really pretty piece of uh, wax and Shirley's already making plans on making a couple candles out of it but anyway we'll see how that goes we'll continue tomorrow okay it's the next day and I took the cake of wax and I tried to scrape off as much as the debris on the back that I could. Um, unfortunately, a lot came off, but uh, not, it, it didn't all come off. It didn't scrape off as easy as I thought it would. So anyway, as you can see, put it in a pot um, and we're double broiling this because we're not using water with this wax. We're just melting uh, wax on direct heat. So we're using a double broiler system Unfortunately, the only double broiler system I have without going into my wife's pots and pans is the uh, turkey fryer. And so it's going to take a while to heat up that water and melt that wax. 
but uh, then we're going to filter it one more time and we should have uh, some pretty pure wax and we're going to make some candles out of it and see how that goes. Okay, I'll keep you posted as we go. Okay, this is the last phase uh, of our filtering. I've got a screen covered with a napkin. I'm pouring into a bowl covered with parchment paper. Okay. Our wax is completely melted with a little bit of debris on top. Hopefully all the debris will filter out and ready for the pour. Okay, a lot of it poured through, but not as much as I would have liked. in there huh? all right so we do have a good amount down there collecting um, it's still dripping and it's still drying up here so like I mentioned before when whatever's left on here this residue that's gonna make a good fire starter But anyway, I'll keep you updated as this progresses. Um, that's it for now though. Okay, we're all done rendering the wax. And uh, all done and said, I wanna show you what we got, what we came out with in the end. Remember that big old pot of nasty looking soup? Well, this is what we got in the end. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece of beeswax. And uh, Shirley's already went and ordered some candle molds and just a little dust on it now but no that's uh came out beautifully rendered um we're gonna be making some candles and uh it's you know this is such a beautiful slab of wax i hope you guys remember what we started with that nasty pot of gruel black bubbly crap but anyway this is what it was all for anyway thanks for watching bye